What's up, YouTube? Javon Diggity here, and today we're back with another Market Watch video. I want to go ahead and apologize for not posting in like a week. Been really busy, haven't had that much time to make videos. I do apologize, but we're getting back on that grind, starting with a Market Watch today. And of course, most of the cards we're going to be talking about today's video are the alternate art versions of cards. We will point out the regular cards that are cheap and affordable for you guys to purchase. Of course, if some of the regular versions are expensive, we will point that out as well. And of course, make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. There will always be time to spend money on shiny cardboard. So, let's get right into it. OPO6. A lot of people have been asking me about Manga Zoro. And the fact is, will it dip more? I don't know. It could... Uh, when the reprints come out for OPO6, this card could go down more in price. Or it might have just settled around this price at the 1350 it might just sit here because you see Manga Ace, Shanks, they're kind of just sitting at the price they've been at for a while. Um, I still think Zoro will be probably still be above a grand just because it's such a popular character. Um, will it go back up? Maybe. Um, but it's just really hard to tell what the price will sit at. I mean, I, I don't, I just really don't know what what to think about this card i'm assuming it'll stay around here i mean mangas don't tend to dip that much um especially with like a big popular character like this uh so we'll just have to wait really wait and see and keep an eye on this card and see what it does but the real reason of this video is the market is going absolutely crazy right now because of what dropped yesterday with opo8 and let's pull him up right here let's go ahead and pull him up right here we got <coughs> This card right here, Marco. This guy is just setting the world on fire. <laughs> Red, blue leader, four life, wipe your pirates, dawn one, once per turn, draw one card, then place one card from your hand on the top of or bottom of your deck, and then give up to one of your opponent's characters, minus 2,000 for the turn. Seems absolutely crazy. And people are basically calling it Sakazuki 2.0. Um... Being able to filter your hand and give a character minus 2,000. And you'll see that the combos you can pull off with this card are pretty insane. And uh, that's why the market is going crazy, starting with OPO6. Uh, you can see the leaders. Some of these leaders uh, have kind of been sitting the same. Um, but we need to go down here to Sanji. Blue Sanji, the alt, and the regular have spiked because of this Marco reveal. Do not buy these cards at this price, guys. I do not recommend buying these right now at $40 a piece. Could they go up more? Sure. But you guys got to think, that Marco is two sets away. We still got EBO1 and OPO7 to get through, and then OPO8. So we're just still looking at like six months before this guy even comes out. And... Unless they're going to do like some worldwide release where they drop OPO8 at the same time, which they maybe they do that. We'll have to wait and see. But you're at least looking at three months until this becomes uh, relevant. So I'm sure these cards will dip back down before that. But people right now are just buying it out on the hype. Um, and we'll just have to wait uh, wait and see what the market does with that. But all the Whitebeard stuff we'll take a look at is, is starting to go up. But starting with Sanji, um, this card was like what 15 12 15 bucks last week um and now it's skyrocketed into the 30s as you can see yep see 15 to 20 15 like all 15s and then it just started yesterday just exploding in price so that is sanji that is one card we wanted to talk about out of this set Another thing we used to talk about, the regular SRs, Reiju and Moria here, they both seem to be hovering in this like $20 range. It doesn't look like they're moving anytime soon, so if you need to just get your play sets for your tournaments, just, I, I would just get them at this price, because it really doesn't look like they're going to really be moving from this like 15 for Reiju 15 to 20 and then Gecko 20 to like $25 range. Anything in there, <coughs> if you need it for your tournaments, I, I would just say just go ahead and get it, because... It's been a couple weeks now, and it really doesn't look like these guys are moving anytime soon. As well as Zoro. Zoro is still just sitting here around 22. And Hody 
and Prona and stuff is down here sitting really below. We don't really need to talk about these guys. I mean, I guess pick up your hoodies if you're playing Yamato. Um, there were some tournaments that just went down this past weekend. We might do a video looking at what decks did good in those tournaments. Uh, maybe some cards to pick up from those. Because um, we finally started to see the first big tournaments come out of the meta and what the meta is going to look like. So we'll have to take a look at those, of course. And Kikunojo and Onami have slightly gone down for you guys still needing your play sets of those cards as well for your yellow yellow decks. So that's going to do it for OPO6. OPO5, I don't think um, there's anything uh, that really needs to get talked about here. Um, one thing we do need to talk about is the Revolutionary Army. There's, are these all Japanese listings? Yeah, there's so many Japanese listings that it just make the price look so low. But still, Betty, Betty still sitting at $35 is uh, pretty cheap if you always wanted your Betty to pick up for cool artwork. Um, but some people are also talking about playing the Revolutionary Army package in Marco, like Betty and Koala. I don't think it'll be as good as... Uh, like just the white beard stuff because that, that stuff looks insane. But just, just throwing that out there that some people have been talking about experimenting um, <coughs> for you guys to look at there. Uh, but really everything else in this uh, set really doesn't need to really be talked about. I mean, Rebecca and Lucci, of course, for Sakazuki, uh, this format is still very strong. Um, but we don't need to talk about that. Uh, we do need to talk about Big Mom, though. Because Katakuri has kind of been taking this meta by storm. Uh, everyone is, uh, pretty hyped on the deck, and uh, that is why Lin Lin here, we've been talking about for a while, that Seven Moms are sitting around that $15, $16 mark, uh, she's finally jumped up to that $20 range for your Lin Lins, and again, I talked about this last time, you guys are better off just buying the starter deck for 40 bucks than buying your two Lin Lins for 40 bucks because you also get two Brulees, two Katakuris, um, and that's basically extra extra value for just buying the starter deck. So I would, I would definitely buy this over buying just two copies of Lin Lin. Um, I'm just putting that out there for you guys who are trying to play yellow. Let's go take a look at OPO4 now. Because OPO4, we got... Uh, Rebecca's actually fallen in price, which is good. I know a lot of people are hyped on this deck, but uh, for this set... Um, <coughs> And beige, as well, dude. Like I said, I wish, I wish there's an exclude Japanese filter. I don't know if there is. Maybe there is. I haven't really messed around with the filters that much. Maybe there is, but excluding Japanese pricings on this would be a lot easier to make just general glance. But main takeaways here: yellow stuff still very popular. Katakuri and Anel are proving that. Well, I don't. I haven't really seen Anel, but I know Katakuri is proving to be a force in this format, so you might want to pick up your yellow pieces if you plan on playing that. You got Sanji here. Rosanate has fallen off, just like we've been seeing here. Um, might be a good time to buy Rosanate now that he's falling back down to the $7, $8 range if you're going to play Bonnie. Because <laughs> it looks like now that the OPO8 stuff is here, everyone's falling off the OPO7 hype train and going to OPO8 cards, so now might be a time to sneak in and buy your OPO7 stuff. Um, uh, like your Rosanantes and stuff, uh, Dofi's still around five bucks, Yamato's, uh, for Anel, because I know Anel gets a really strong EB01 and OP07, um, as well as your Capone's yellow, this trigger's always gonna be crucial in all yellow decks, so there is that for you guys. <coughs> Some people are talking about Pell, because of the new Marco, you get the KO of, uh, 4k or less. You know, people were talking about before Pell having this massive spike. Buy your Pells now. So just keep you guys aware of what, you know, people are talking about. Um, if you want to pick up your playset for fun. But I don't really know if it's going to be any good or not. And Sabo has kind of fallen back down. To, eh, still around that $10 range. But there's like one cheap listing. But other than that, it's still around that $12 range for your Sabos there. Now let us go to OPO3 because, of course, more yellow cards. Katakuri, um, I'm sure, yeah, still like 220. Uh, Japanese lead is, of course, cheaper, but still around 220, 230. Still really strong leader in the format. Don't see this price dropping anytime soon. 
Um, if you want to bling out your category, it looks like you just have to pay that much, unfortunately. Soga King has fallen. Nami has fallen. Nami, I've seen some pretty good success, though, in this format so far. I've seen a lot of people uh, playing Nami, uh, doing well. So the leader's sitting around, like, 180. Um, not terrible, but uh, I know uh, for you Nami players out there, if you want to bling it out, it's been seeing some success in the format. Um, what else here? Paris Sparrow, Katakuri, of course, for the Big Mom stuff, and Ten Drop Mom herself. Of course, these three have been going up. Marco, like I said, the OPO8 Marco has caused a bunch of stuff to skyrocket. Look at this alternate art Marco. Bought out, cheapest one, 70 bucks. Uh, instant rise after that release of that information. So just, you know, I, I still wouldn't buy it again. It, it might drop. We're, we're looking at a while. You just saw what happened with Rosanante. Um... But the high for, for the high for Marco's real. You can see the the uh, the regular SR is starting to spike too, up to fourteen um, for the cheapest. I'm glad I got my place into these when they were like five. Um, but yeah, I actually have an extra one to sell too. Ooh. That well, that's a nice. Maybe I could trade it for like a Reiju or something. That could be nice. Um, we got Polly all Lin Lin. Um, herself has gone up, like I said, category really strong. Her price gone up almost 10 bucks now for your copy of 10 Mom. Uh, when for a while she was sitting at like a five dollar card, uh, six to five dollar card. Uh, well, she spiked, but as you can see, the further we go back, she was down here. Like last week when I was checking, I just didn't make any videos, she was at like five bucks and stuff. Uh, for your Linlins there. Still might be a good time to pick them up because Katakuri seems like it's going to be a really strong deck going forward. Um, so you might want to get your Linlins there. Uh, another thing here, Paris Barrow, we've been talking about for a while. It's been creeping up. And as well as Kaya. Uh, we talked about... I, I don't think we talked about this, but again, guys, Kaya, five bucks. But you got to remember, if you guys are going to play locals, if you guys are playing locals, you do have a chance to get your tournament pack. Kaya's here. Um, for a better artwork, and then if you even win as well, you could get the crazy winner artwork that looks absolutely amazing. Um, just keep those in mind if you guys are playing in locals. Um, you will have a chance to pull your Kaya's just from the tournament pack instead of having to buy them. Um, so just letting you guys know that as well. Um, what else? I don't think anything else in this set, uh, really is popping off oh fire fist for marco um a lot of people talk about this card it's gonna be really good in the deck you might want to just pick up your copies while it's still really cheap um and the we can look at the alt art i guess because <coughs> i think the alt art is like 20 bucks for fire fist um yeah 20 bucks for the fire fist alt i don't know if it'll go up or not um but if you want some cool bling this card seems really good in the new marco deck as well now let us go look at paramount war to go check on the other marcos and as we can see here box prices has gone back up bang box prices exploded over over 400 again for paramount war wow um that is good to see um and yeah, as you see, Ace still sitting around like uh, 1.2. So I, I think Zoro will probably end up sitting around there. Of course, Borsalino, Kuzan, still really expensive for Sakazuki. We've been talking about that. Borsalino, the regular, it finally dropped back under 50, uh, like 48 bucks, 49. Uh, good to see. Hopefully this card keeps going down, but it's still going to be very hyped right now for this format because um, it is just a really good card. It's Sakazuki and then like Perona, Moria. Um, but as you can see here as well, other Marco, not as expensive as the five drop, but people still showing love to the four drop. And uh, as you can see, people starting to buy a pickup on it because um, they people probably think this is a spike to $70 too um, because there isn't that many out there, it looks like. Uh, only two pages worth. So we'll have to keep our eyes to see what this Marco does as well. Remember, though, there are way cheaper versions of this Marco. We'll look here in Paramount War. You've got, um, we'll go to the regular version of Marco for you guys because it is, <coughs> it 
It is just a rare, I believe. Uh, take a look at Ace, too. Remember, Ace dropped off. It is now going back up. And uh, Nine Beard as well is going up. Might be the time to pick it up because uh, people are thinking of comboing Sanji, Nine Drop Sanji, and the White Beard is going to be absolutely disgusting with that new Marco leader. Um, so you might want to keep your eyes on your new gates, pick them up maybe if you don't have them as well. Kuzan has gone back up as well because of Sakazuki. Um, we knew that was coming. and But the Secret Rare Kuzan is still sitting down here at 15. Um, might be worth getting some copies uh, while it's cheap just in case it ever becomes relevant again. Suru as well has gone down. Where is Marco and Odin? And still need to pick up some of those for my... Uh, Odin deck for EV01, and right here, guys, regular Marco is still really cheap for you guys to go ahead and pick up for the four cost, um, as well as Ezo's, uh, if you want your searcher for the deck, because I know people are going to be playing the Whitebeard engine with Ezo as well. Some other cards you might want to look at if you're going to be wanting to play Marco is basically, you know, just the Whitebeard package. Uh, Vista becomes back into play because of the reduction of power KOing 3k or less now is really good. People are also talking about playing like Raze Max and Gordon in the Marco deck as well. So we'll go check and see if their prices have changed. Seaquake, another good card you're going to want to pick up if you're going to want to play Marco and maybe even Dadan if you want to search like the events. Um, there's so many different builds people are scheming right now since the release of this card. So it's going to be really interesting to see where the meta settles uh, with that card. But now let's go look at uh, Gordon. Because Gordon, uh, some people are talking about using it in Marco. Still sitting around the $25 to $27 mark. <coughs> of course, because of the red-purple law hype as well. Um, you got people, of course, pouncing on this Gordon. And uh, we could go look at uh, we could go look at Toy Law too, just for the fun of it. Um, still sitting around that fifteen to seventeen dollar mark. Eh, not really sitting at twenty bucks. This card has gone up, guys. Red Purple Law hype is here, and it's real. The deck is gonna be really solid to come EB zero one, and these prices are showing that this card is pretty good in it. Uh, twenty bucks for your Law. Your toy laws there, so just keep those in mind too. You might want to snag those now before they explode again, um, because that deck is going to be probably a menace coming into EBO one and OPO seven. So probably a top meta contender, I, I would say for sure. Now, lastly, let's take a look at Romance Dawn. Nothing really in this set. I really think needs to be talked about again. Shanks like the one point two, uh, lowest. Oh, this Japanese, Japanese shanks. These, these Japanese listings are trolling me, man. English shanks, two, 2K. Um, will Zoro get to the 2K mark? Maybe? Uh, it's really hard to tell. Let me look at Ace real quick. Ah, uh, see, yeah, these are English at 1.2, so... Uh, Ace is a really popular character, too, so it could be, it could be Zoro sits around the Ace mark at, like, 1.2... Mangas are just such a strange, strange market, guys. Such a strange market on uh, on the collectability and price on those. Um, but as you can see here, nothing has really changed. All these cheap prices for these leaders are all Japanese. Um, that's why all these have a really low listing, but they're probably all Japanese listings. If someone mistakenly lists in English for this price, definitely go ahead and buy it. Um... But uh, and most of the time, it is going to be Japanese listings of those cards. Um, and this just shows you right here how cheap the Japanese market is, guys. Like, if we could still just get, like, Law for 140, Luffy 100, Dofi for 50. Like, just imagine if our market was these prices. The game would be flourishing. and <laughs> You could bling out your deck and have a lot of fun. But, uh, no, our prices are $300 if you want an alt leader. Um, 400 if you want your alt law it's just crazy to think about um, the different mar the difference in markets kid as well still sitting around the $37 mark Fortress Yamato I think a couple did well um, and Yamato Secret as well still around $40 uh, I don't really think there's anything out of this set we really need to look at for uh, for Marco maybe you could play Mihawk and Marco too and bounce stuff probably not though um, but it is an option. It's there. Um, Otamas and Rad Beams for Marco as well. You might want those. Um, might be pretty useful there. Um, 
And yeah, guys, I think that is about going to wrap it up for this market watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you who subscribes to the channel. We just passed 350 subscribers on that way to 360. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, YouTube, we'll see you later.